Hi, Fluttering, and it's rain here. Um, with my my snake, Falcor. And if you guys know what movie his name is from, comment down below. And then I'll tell you more. He's a what he is for me. He is a normal bull python, I think. But he's definitely a bull python. A normal one or not a normal one, I'm not sure. And then next month he's gonna be start feeding on a uh, rat. Frozen rats, uh, frozen silky rats, to be more precise, what he's going to be eating. And right now we're feeding him small mice, but we're going to be feeding him next month on my birthday the uh, the silky rats. He loves when his mom kisses and kisses him. And in an old video, I used to be scared of him. But holding him for a few minutes every single day got me being operated, but he more my duty. He loves when he's new and gives him kisses. He's so handsome. And he's a male. And whenever I save up enough money, I will try to breed him. He's doing pretty good. Because I would, I double checked what Brian Burchick said. You know about normal ball pythons. And he said if there's a yellow tinge, they're not normal ball python. And he has no yellow tinge on his belly. And we have this tank to where it's a normal setting for him. We have the heat mat between 85 and 80. So then it gives the MBR temperature 80 in heat. And then the percentage of the humidity is up. 60, between 60 and 70. And then on his cold side, it's about 79. And sometimes he just stays in his little rock hut. And that is his little rock hut that he likes to stay in almost every single time. I think he switches from the hot side to the cool side. On his, in his rock hut and then next month I'm giving him since we have a log which is supposedly supposed to be a medium habitat uh extra large hiding hut and a another hut different than the one that we have cause he there's lots of you go where he is where he can stick and we don't want him to scrape off his gills so yeah we have a medium one coming with the large one and yeah and that will be from Amazon but they have it in stock right now so we'll be getting that one. Those two. And the extra large. If you have them. I have them right now. 
since he was still in the for a juvenile still baby. He was in in May, he was in silky mice and we got him from silky mice not even a month with silky mice to small mice. Now we're going to silky rats to feed them since his thickness is thick enough for the silky rats. And I have them in a 20 gallon. And I was thinking, you know, for your snake, you put them in a 20 gallon, they like it. And he loves it. He sits out, he curls up outside sometimes. Even one time I had the, the thing that all this stuff comes in. I had that on the background before I got the black one. He would just lay out close to the background and you couldn't see him. He felt so comfortable and not stressed out or nothing. Hmm, my little baby. And if you're thinking about getting one, they're very good. They're definitely less a lifetime so be good take care of them for a long time and if you're gonna get a 20 gallon tank make sure that like if you get them like say you get a snake that is like very very small like holding one hand um, get a 20 gallon and then like he broke up in his first shot was last month and you would see that on my Instagram you know he's so cute so you need some boy boy I love you And what I'm doing is buying the extra large hiding hut. It's not a half a hut. It's like a rock hut because he likes rocks. You know. And he likes hiding in the rock hut. So we give him the log hut. So his tank will be filled with like rock stuff. You know, he likes being cool and creepy. So we'll give him the extra large rock hut. And then when we go from the 20 gallon up to 40, you take that extra large rock hut and transfer it to that 40. So if you want to do that, you think of, okay, if I'm getting this snake, and then you transfer it when it gets really, really big to a 40. So what can I use in the 20 for now to where I can transfer that to a 40? That's what I did. And he's so handsome. So cool looking. He likes black and dark stuff. He likes to rock home. He's moving very, very much today. And let's see, today's Saturday and Thursday we fed him. And then next month we became the fucking Rex to bulk him up bigger and make him healthier, stronger. I mean, the mice. We give him the frozen small mice right now. And then we're going to be ordering from LA 